I'm Grace Brager, and I bought this 1957 Chevy in 1957, and it's the only car I've driven since. I bought the car in 1957. I wasn't expecting to need a new car, but I was driving a 50 Chevy, and I was told that it, I should sell it and get a new one because of noises. So my first thought, since I was working in Milwaukee at the time, that I have to go to King Brager. Well, my name, of course, is, is Brager, so I thought it, I have to go to King Brager to buy my car. I think that I paid $2,200. It was a demonstrator, and it, uh, I bought it just before the 58s came out. They really did not show me many cars. Uh, the the uh, salesman had this as his demonstrator, and it was time for him to uh, sell it. So, I mean, I loved it, and I needed a big car at that time. For 1957, it was really advanced. It had um, power brakes and power steering, and a four-barrel carburetor, eight cylinders, and they had what was verbally called turbojet. I have never heard that term, but because in the book it's turbo glide, but there is no feeling, no feeling at all of shifting. I chose to keep the car all these years because I had no reason to give it up. I had no major problems with it. And everybody liked it. I mean, it was so popular and I had no reason to sell it. I have currently 116,001 half miles. I don't put many miles on at this time. But I, I have taken long trips uh, on two different occasions. I drove it to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada and uh, round trip, it took me three days, each of those four trips, so, and I had a traveling job, so I, I was putting miles on to begin with. I don't drive the car much out of West Bend. It, my, I may go out into the vicinity, but it's um, up and down Washington Avenue and up and down Paradise and Main Street in West Bend. I can't say that I've seen a car that I like better than this. And I like the bench seat. I, I really don't like uh, bucket seats. People are surprised that I'm the only owner and that I've never had another car. What do you do to care for the car? Well, prevent, um, preventive maintenance, of course, is a big issue. People should realize that they should. I personally have this uh, oil changed every 1,000 miles. Of course, sometimes it's even a uh, shorter duration than that because I'm not driving that much. But uh, uh, the fluids and everything is checked. And uh, I've got the book. I don't take the book to the the garage anymore. I write everything out. I list exactly what I want. And I, I know what the, the routines are. You know, I was raised during the Depression, and we learned to take care of things. And I think that I think that's had a major bearing on my still having this car today. Uh, I know there was a period of time they were talking about Things were built for obsolescence, and people don't, don't know how to take care of cars. Many, many people have told me, I had a 57 Chevy, and I wish I had kept it. Well, why didn't they?